I grew up in this era and I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area and it was always a big part of our lives all through high school and I just thought it was a fun, relaxed, easygoing time and I like the fact that the music keeps everybody calm and happy. So I was at a club meeting and I said, I have this great idea. I think we should do a dog show like the hippie era, you know, like San Francisco. We're here, it's our area. And everybody looked at me with blank stares like I was crazy. Well, our theme basically is uh, peace, love, and music and dogs. And uh, if you listen to some of the music that you hear, especially when group judging occurs, uh, if a Bernie's Mountain Dog wins, there's a song that has a burner in it. If there's a <laughs> Chihuahua that wins, there's something about a Chihuahua. Um, so music is really a big part of the show, but also we wanted it to feel like a carnival or a fair. And we've decorated with banners, uh, flags, flowers, peace symbols. And both our exhibitors and our judges have gotten into the spirit. And every day gets a little wilder. By Saturday, it's really wild. Come up with uh, some fun things to do. Number one is our costume contest where uh, we give um, awards and prizes uh, for the best dressed dog, the best dressed male, the best dressed female. That's Saturday is our tie-dye dress-up day. Well, we wanted to join in on the fun of the whole <laughs> dog show because uh, it's just so groovy. And uh, our costumes are pretty easy, but what to do with a dog who's not going to particularly like a costume. And I remember back from the 60s, the sandwich boards, and thought we'd go with that. Yeah. I mean, I think it's because it's different than most dog shows. There's a, a theme to it that people can really kind of relate to. So it's kind of fun. Even if you don't get dressed up, you, everybody's kind of a free spirit or dog shows anyway. So it's fun. Okay. Awesome. Today <laughs> is a 60s inspired, sort of a Jimi Hendrix look. That's what I was shooting for. Are you going to go all out tomorrow also? Yeah. Tomorrow's another whole nother outfit. Yesterday I was a guru. <laughs> so. so tomorrow's your, your main event outfit, right? That's right. That's right. All right, perfect. I really have a good time. We, we, we've we won the booth decorating contest three years in a row. Oh, wow. So we're shooting for a four-peat this year. I just think, for one thing, from an exhibitor standpoint, people appreciate having the chance to have fun with everybody and kind of laugh at, you're wearing what? <laughs> you know? So I think that takes a lot of the pressure off. I don't have to worry about the fact that my good suit may be in transit in a moving box somewhere. Um, and then just the fact that it's a beautiful entry. It's a great entry, so there's a lot of good dogs. I had 86 Britneys to judge yesterday, so so it uh, it's fun to judge great entries like that, and it's just fun to be around your friends as well. And how many years have you been coming to Wolfstock? I've been coming to Wolfstock since Wolfstock first started. So that I've was been. Nice. It's been nine oh. years, yeah. What do you think makes Wolfstock such a unique dog show, and why do you enjoy going to this particular event compared to other dog shows? Peace, love, and dogs. <laughs> well, it can't be any better than that. Absolutely. Do you like it too, Claire? I think so too. <laughs> <laughs>